Hey everybody, so I got the RK Royal Clutch Typewriter style keyboard. I've had this now for a little while. And I've been meaning to do an update on it for quite a while just because the original video just wasn't really that good. Anyway, I have been using it, like I said, for a long time. I don't have it plugged in right now. That way I can kind of just show you the keyboard itself and uh, a couple of the features that I wanted to show you as well. Now it does have a rest for your wrist. I don't really care about it. It doesn't really do anything for me. And it's got the feet in the back so you can angle it upward. This one is wired. There is no wireless version. Uh, everything is RGB. It will all lit up or all light up, I should say. It is also very clicky. So if you like the clickiness, this one definitely has it. Uh, the other thing is that you can pull these caps off. So if you use a little key cap puller, You'll easily pull it off and you'll see that this one has blue switches inside and they pop on just like so uh, there's plenty of space in between where you can actually get like a like a brush and you can get in there and you can easily clean it out get your hair it seems like keyboards i get a lot of hair in it either from people or animals whatever it might be uh, but you can get in there and you can kind of clean it out a little bit easier to get some spray cans in there and uh, vacuums as well I'll show you the back here real quick. It's pretty simple. Not a whole lot to show. You got your little leg, your little feet things. Also, you can take this rest off if you prefer to do it. You could also just tuck it completely under as well. And if you tuck it completely under, it's gone. So you don't even have to remove it. You can just tuck it. Now, if you tuck it in though, it isn't going to have as much of an angle with those feet up compared to if you have it outward. All right, so I got it plugged in. I actually plugged it into a power station. That way, while I'm showing you things, I'm not going crazy on the computer itself. Now, this one is meant more for Windows, but I can use it on my MacBook. You're just not gonna have certain features like the Windows key and things. Now, you can remap keys if you prefer to do that. As for some of the features that it does, uh, there are quite a few features or different light styles, different types of lights, and I'm gonna show you those different ones. Also, the other thing is I will show is some of the questions that were asked with me or I saw it on the web page uh, to completely turn it off if you wish just hit the F in and the down arrow and you just dim it all the way until it's done and then when you want to turn it back on opposite up arrow and now you got your lights again now there are several different key f combinations that will change different styles of lighting so you could do like F in and page down or page up it's going to kind of slightly change it there a little bit, different colors. So we got the combinations. You could do a lot of different uh, designs. You could also do like a breathing. So if you want it to breathe. Another thing I will do is I will put the all the commands that I know down at the bottom in the description, just because I know that they don't come with any instructions, which is my biggest con for this company and uh, they don't make it super easy to find them as well. Oh, also the page down will control these side lights. So there are some RGBs here on the sides of each one. And if so if you press the F1 and the page down, you will change that one there. And you can have it completely off if you wish. FN plus home, you'll be able to do some of the like breathing backlight, change it where it kind of like breathes and comes in and comes out. You can kind of change the way that it works as well with that. The other thing you could do is you could change the speed of everything. So if you press FN and like the right arrow or the left arrow, you can kind of change the speed of all the lights. You could just, you could go through so many different settings on this one. There's so many different combinations. You also got one where it kind of goes row by row. It's kind of neat. There are also combos that you could press for... Uh, like convenient shortcuts if you want to open up your computer, browser, calculator. Uh, you could press combinations to do that really quickly. Now, the final thing that I want to do is I want to turn out the lights so you can see them just a little bit better in the dark. All right, there we go. Just so you can see the lights just a little bit better. Now, uh, usually I don't like the multiple flashies, but you could definitely do that. I prefer more of solid colors myself. 
and uh, you know I usually like more of like a breathing my personally. Anyway, uh, this is the RK Clutch keyboard. I hope I answered some of the questions for it. I wanted to do an update on this for quite a while. Overall, this is still one of my favorite keyboards, and I do absolutely love using it. I'm going to put all the commands down below in the description, all the ones that I've been able to find and been able to figure out myself. That way you have it. Anyway, thank you for watching.